This video will be over absolute value and what is absolute value. Well, absolute value describes the distance of a number on the number line from zero without considering which direction from zero the number lies. The absolute value of a number is never negative. So what's important to know about um, this definition is that it describes the distance of a number on the number line without considering which direction from zero the number lies. So it does not matter, does not matter whether or not um, from zero it's to the right or to the left. So it doesn't matter if it goes to the positive or the negative. That's what's nice, um, important about absolute value. So down here it says the absolute value of five is five. Well, how do we do that? Well, here's five on our number line. And so it says, describes the distance of a number on a number line from zero. Okay, so you always have to start here at zero. So from zero, we're going to go to five. That's one, two, three, four, five points. So the absolute value of five is five because it's it's five points away from zero. Now what's the absolute, absolute value of negative five? Well here's negative five on our number line. An absolute value means that um, it's from zero. So you start here at your zero and you go, you count until you get to negative five. One, two, three, four, five five units away. So the absolute value of negative five equals five because it's five units from zero. Now what's the absolute value of two plus negative seven? Well it says the absolute value of two plus negative seven is five. Now we start at 2 because our problem starts at positive 2 and we're going to add negative 7. So we're going to count um, to, the, to the negative side because anything to the right is positive, anything to the left is negative. So now we need to go negative 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that is where we end up. Now, to find the absolute value of 2 plus negative 7, okay, we're not going to just do 2 plus negative 7 because 2 plus negative 7 obviously is negative 5. We have to find the absolute value. So the absolute value, you start at 0 and you count back to the number, which is only 5 units. So 2 plus 7 equals negative 5, which equals the absolute value is 5, okay? Now, the absolute value of 0. Well, the absolute value of 0 is 0. And this is why we don't say that the absolute value of a number is always positive, because 0 is neither negative or positive. But the absolute value of a, nu of a number is never negative. Okay, so this is very important. It's never negative. So it really is always positive, but when it's zero, we can't say it's a positive number because zero is not positive or negative. However, if it's any other number, one to um, infinity, one to infinity will always equal a positive number. Now how do you write absolute value? Well the symbol of absolute value are two straight lines that go down like this. And then the number inside is the at what you're trying to find. So this is the absolute value of 5. So the absolute value of 5 is 5. The absolute value of negative 6. The absolute value of negative 6 is going to be 6. The absolute value of 2 plus 7. Well, that, this would equal 9, the absolute value of 9, which equals positive 9. 
um, the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. So the absolute value sign is just two straight lines down. Now, when you're looking at a number line, if it says show that the absolute value of x equals 2, well, we need to show x on the number line. And to show x on the number line, you need to show every number whose absolute value is 2. Well, we know that positive 2 is going to have an absolute value of 2. So, because we count 1, 2 spaces from 0, now we need to count 2 spaces from 0 to the, to the left. 1, 2. So the absolute value is, um, of negative 2 is 2. So on a number line, it's going to look like two closed dots on a number line because if it's closed, that means it has to be this number. So the absolute value of x equals 2 is shown like this on the number line. Now, what if you have to think, we have to think about this one. The absolute value of x is greater than 2. So we, we need x equals any number that's the absolute value is greater than 2. So, so to show x on the number line, you need to show every number whose absolute value is greater than 2. So when you graph a, this on a number line, you use an open dot. So we're going to use an, a dot that's open like this instead of closed because the open dot indicates that the number is not part of the graph and the greater than symbol indicates that the number is being compared is not included in the graph. So it's greater than 2. So we're going to put an open dot on our 2's because remember the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. So this is any number greater than 2, both sides, because we ignore the positive and negative signs. So that is how you would graph any number greater than 2, because all of these numbers down here, the absolute values, are all going to be positive. All the numbers on this side are going to be positive, and all the numbers on this side are going to be positive after you do the absolute value. Now let's um, try some examples. Find the measure of a line segment. Given the coordinate a is negative 1 and the coordinate b is 5. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to find a which is negative 1 and then b which is 5. So we're going to put that on our number line. a, whoops, a is negative 1 and 5 is b. So to measure this line, so we need to measure line AB. So to measure line AB, to do that, it's the absolute value of A minus B. Or to find line BA, because no, you can do it either way, which equal the absolute value of B minus A. So it's always a minus sign. You're always going to take the first point and take it away from the second point, or take the second point and take it away from the first point. So to do this, a is negative 1, absolute value negative 1, minus 5, absolute value. So on your calculator, what you would do is um, to do this math problem, if you don't want to do this in your head, was you would hit 1, I'm, I'm sorry, you'd hit the negative sign and then 1, which the negative sign is at the bottom, um, right by the decimal point. So negative 1 and then minus 5 equals, and you will get negative 6. Okay, you're going to get negative 6, but we want to find the absolute value of negative 6. So the absolute value of negative 6 is just 6. Okay, now let's get rid of this so we can work some more. Okay, so line segment AB equals the absolute value of six, negative 6, which is 6. Now, we're going to try to find the line BA. So B, the absolute value of 5 minus negative 1, absolute value. So to do that, you would hit on your calculator, you would hit 5, take away, and then the negative sign, 1 equals. 
and you will get positive 6. We need to find the absolute value of positive 6, which remains positive, which is 6. You can check your answer by just counting the units from A to B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So line segment AB equals 6. Pretty simple. Let's try another one. Find the measure of a line segment given the coordinates a is 5 and B is negative 8. So A is 5 and B is negative 8. Remember, you're going to take A and B and you're going to subtract. Okay, so you can subtract A minus B or B minus A because you're going to be taking the absolute value of those. So we can do first do a minus b. So 5 minus negative 8 absolute value equals. So to do that on your calculator you would just hit 5 minus negative sign 8 equals and you will get absolute value of 13. The absolute value of 13 is positive 13. Now to do it the other way, b minus a, b is negative 8, I'm going to take the absolute value, negative 8 minus 5, absolute value sign equals. To do that, you would do negative sign 8 minus 5 equals, you will get negative 13, but we're taking the absolute value. Remember when you take the absolute value of a number, it becomes most of the time positive unless it's a zero. You can check your answer by counting your units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, line segment AB equals 13. Or line segment BA equals 13. Either one. Last example. Find the measure of the line segment given the coordinates A is negative 3 and B is 0. So A, I just did it wrong on the number line, so I need to erase that. A is negative 3, not positive 3, is negative 3. So, and B is 0. So, we need to do the absolute value of A minus B, or the absolute value of B minus A. So, we have B, A minus B, which is negative 3 minus 0. On your calculator, you would just hit negative sign 3 minus 0, which is negative 3. I'm going to find the absolute value of that, which equals a positive 3. B minus A is 0 minus 3. And you would just do 0 minus 3 on your calculator you would get negative 3, which equals a positive 3. You can check your answer by counting the units. 1, 2, 3. So line AB equals 3, or line BA equals 3, either one. Hopefully this has given you um, a un better understanding of absolute value and how to find distance on a number line. Just make sure that when you, um, the most important thing to remember when finding distance on a number line is that you subtract the two numbers. So we are subtracting the two numbers. It doesn't matter if you subtract A from B or B from A. And also remember that these points can be any letters. They can be X and Y, Z and T, any, any letter in the alphabet. Um, the points can be. We learned that in the previous lesson. So just remember that you're just subtracting the two points and finding the absolute value of them. You can also um, count the points if it's in a straight line. Just remember that um, we're, we're leading up to finding the distance of diagonal lines and with diagonal lines you can't count on a number line. So just remember that you need to subtract the two numbers from each other and then um, that will help you find the distance of a number line. If you still or having issues with finding distance on a number line, you can call your teacher or watch this video again or look at the written lesson um, on your lesson pages.